Hello, my name is Thomas and I'd like to present you today the new version of the Cisco UC gadget uh, which brings Cisco telephony to Google Apps users. You might have seen the first video on YouTube, uh, if not it's linked from this video's description. So that new version of the gadget is still based on the Cisco Jabber SDK which is available on CDN Cisco Developer Network as you can see here on the screen. Uh, feel free to join the, the network and find more information about that uh, great web SDK. Uh, I'll switch now to my Gmail page to show you the new the new gadget. Uh, so that's a regular Gmail page uh, configured with uh, a new theme called Preview, which uh, may be the default theme in the future. Uh, so. You can see here on the left sidebar the Cisco phone gadget. Uh, it's a soft phone uh, embedded in my browser. Uh, it doesn't require uh, any other phone device to uh, place and receive calls and to control them. Um, so let's just go quickly through the telephony features. So I can, from my Gmail call, let's say that phone number 4743, I click call here. You might uh, hear the remote phone ringing, and I insert, and I'm now in a call with Martin. So, from here, directly from my Gmail page, I can end the call, I can hold resume, I can mute, unmute, uh, I can toggle the keypad for DTMF. Um, let's end this call now. Um, I can uh, receive calls as shown in the previous video uh, but what I'd like to show you today uh, is the new uh, expanded view of the phone uh, if I click this button here expand uh, that will show a bigger view of my same uh, Cisco phone directly in my Gmail page I'm still in Gmail uh, I can go back to my inbox or uh, compose a new email and um, let's say now I'd like to call the same Martin but I don't know his phone number I don't know his full name either um, well so just last, let's try Martin right and as you can see now uh, my bigger view shows me pictures of, of remote contacts and I don't find Martin here so if I remember his last name starts with a F so oh yes I can see him now and he's in Galway by the way uh, it's a great place to live and I'm sure it's Martin so let's select him and okay for the more purpose uh, uh, we're showing a big picture of, of Martin which could be used for a uh, video or more more advanced uh, telephony operations uh, and I can click call from here and again the remote phone is ringing I answer as Martin and I'm now in a call with Martin. Uh, I can still show the keypad for, for DTMF. Um, and a nice feature is that uh, while I'm in a call, let's say I'm discussing with Martin uh, an email he sent a few days ago and I'd like to review that email. So I can click my inbox here, navigate my emails. Uh, I'm still in a call with Martin, right, as the 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 small view uh, is showing and I can open an email say oh yes you wrote that and uh, then click that expand button here and go back to my uh, full view I can control the call from here directly and uh, I can even send an e a new email to Martin by clicking his email address that will pop out uh, a new email window that's basically it so let's end the call from here and I can go back to my to my Gmail page uh, as previously um, let's switch now to calendar so I'm gonna sign out from Gmail right because the current gadget UI does not uh, handle very well multi tabs or multi windows uh, that's that's a work in progress so I'll sign in to my calendar page and I configured the exact same gadget so as you can see it appears on, on the right sidebar uh, I also configured a second gadget uh, 
a default gadget in calendar which is called work clock right just to show that uh, in calendar the the phone gadget can uh, can resize automatically so I just uh, expanded the the keypad and the gadget resized automatically uh, I still have that expanded view so I can search for the same Martin okay here he is um, let's go back to my calendar I can um, I can directly from the phone gadget uh, invite Martin to a new calendar event by clicking this button so I've just let's say I want to invite him to a planning meeting and as you can see here uh, Martin was automatically automatically added as a as a guest uh, let's discard this event for now I'll uh, and one more contextual integration which is available in calendar is uh, so I configured previously this meeting uh, and I entered manually Martin as, as an attendee of this meeting so now if I click if I click it uh, let's retry <laughs> yes if I click it so you can see Martin is, is was invited to this meeting and the gadget resolved his profile and suggest me to call Martin um, that's basically it for today hope you liked it uh, just so you know we are also working on uh, Chrome OS so we've got a prototype of the same gadget running on Chrome OS but unfortunately I cannot show it uh, show it today I hope to be able to do it soon um, if you want more information feel free to contact us on the CDN Jabber ATK site uh, thank you